violence for our women. Thank you. I'm here, a descendant of the Piscatwa people, the land on which this building is built, a descendant of the houses, the dames, and so many other people. I ran across a magazine, and I thought it was a picture of my cousin Jonathan McIver, and it says, how did my cousin's picture get on a tabloid? So I picked it up, and that was my introduction to this Danny Williams. It's about 24, 25 years ago. And I wondered, what is to become of this child? He looks just like the president to me. I have a history in my family. There's a man who was vice president named John C. Breckenridge, who had a daughter with an ancestor. He abandoned this daughter. At the age of 12, she was sold for $7 to buy tobacco because someone wanted to get high. And I remember in learning that story with my famed cousin, the Honorable Thelma Short Doswell, we talked about Danny, the last real conversation I had with her. And what I want to say today, this isn't Danny's story. This is America's story. Amen. It's all of us who need to know yes. who we are and whose we are and where we've come from and what we need to be because if we don't come together as a nation, you look at what's happening, we're in a lot of trouble if we don't learn how important we are to one another. Mm -hmm. So Danny mm -hmm. is a miracle. He's a blessing that we have a chance to get it right, yes. a chance to redeem this country from its past. And so I look at him as a blessing. I look at his mother as a blessing and his aunt as a blessing that we can look at ourselves and recognize how diverse and how special and how unique America is. We should know who we are, and he has a right to know this. Right. So I stand in mm. solidarity as a person descendant of slave and slave owner, <clears throat> African and European and Indian, and I'm appealing to you in the press to cover this story with vigor, to dispel this DNA lie, and call on our president, a person who felt our pain, he should be able to feel the pain of his own flesh and blood. This is all that we're asking. You know, many people years ago castigated a senator from South Carolina, Senator Strom Thurmond. But to his credit, a Dixiecrat, he looked out for his black daughter. He educated her. She had a chance. And people have called Strom Thurmond a racist and trashed him. But at the height of segregation, he looked out for his child. Danny deserves as much and more. And so do his grandchildren. Yeah.